to do a 20 kilometer walk to clear my day. I've got my thing on because believe it or not, I'm going to be at dirt roads in about 10 minutes. I don't need light. The sun doesn't come up for another hour. So I have to walk through the most quiet hostel. I blowed this door, fell down the stair. <laughs> I had to get this done before 4 o'clock, so 10 hour walk. I actually got lost once or twice leaving Lorca. It was way too dark and it took me over an hour to get to visit the Twerk. Quarter past seven. The sun's coming up. I've been walking with a headlamp on for the last 45 minutes. Four kilometers walked so far. I'm in Villa Tuerta. Walking Villa Tuerta to Estella was about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, it was lovely through these fields over this cool bridge. I did not stick around the town. I didn't have the time. It seemed lovely, but I did break on the far side of it beside the petrol station. 9.38 kilometers. I'm on the far end of Estella. I'm going to go to the Ignacio Monastery because they have a tap of free wine. It's not even nine o'clock yet. I've been walking since 20 past six and I had to get a new hat. I do kind of look like an idiot in it, but frankly, it's being it look like an idiot, I'd be bored. So I left Estella and ended up at Irache. Uh, this metal worker just bought the vineyards, amazing. Here's the vineyard, Bodega Sirache. Uh, this is their tap. You can see I pour some wine into a bottle. That's from my partner when I meet her in Burgos. Uh, I got to meet a couple of pilgrims here. It was kind of cool. Um, and of course, you had to walk to the vineyard, like check that out, the side of a mountain. You're basically along the side of one mountain, and it's beautiful. It wasn't too hot. And you end up just there. That's Vimeo di in front of me, the big peak. And you go through a small town before that, and you go up the side of the hill, like here. I bumped into two Australian uh, pilgrims here who are on bikes they were pretty cool and of course this roman bath and you end up in, in via mayor de majadin which has this thousand year old church it's kind of cool the entire floor of my feet are covered in blisters including my toes i'm covered in compedes uh, and i'm in quite a lot of pain the 12 kilometers from Monjardin to Los Arcos were probably the worst, I'd say, in my entire Camino experience. I was in so much pain with my feet. I sat down 3K outside of Los Arcos, and when I got back up, it took me an hour and a half to walk three kilometers. I learned a lot from that. I nearly quit, nearly, but I didn't, thank God. So thanks for watching, and look out for part six.